this is Rose from AHA. Feature cards show important details about your work and help you find what you're looking for on the features board. I share a few tips on how to customize them so you can strike that balance between seeing what's relevant but not having so many fields that the cards get cluttered. Let's take a look. You can see we already have a ton of built out feature cards here on our features board. And you have the option to customize the card layout here just for yourself, or you can set a default layout for everyone. Let's take a look at the options under Customize Card Layout. So we can drag and drop any of these fields from the left into the card. We can remove them from the card and move them around within the card itself. So lots of flexibility here. You can even add more rows to organize fields. The nice thing is it really comes down to your own preferences and what info will help you the most. Some people like keeping the details light, others like more. I find it helpful to think about the why, when, what, and who when I'm setting these up because those are the quick details I want to see at a glance. So let's adjust this default layout a bit. And I'll start with the why. So I like to have the score, the goals, and initiatives grouped together here to show how the feature is linked to our strategy and how impactful it is. So we can drag this goal icon here over next to the initiative. Then for our when, the status is easy to identify from this background color. So here it's blue for under consideration. And you could even include a progress bar if you use those for more detail too. For the what, the feature name and feature type are already included by default. And we also have tags here, which you could use to show the areas of the product this feature impacts. The who, I generally think of as who the feature is assigned to. So I like to always have this avatar here in the upper right. It helps if everyone on your team has added a profile picture. You can add this integration link if you have one set up to start showing the how, and it's likely you'll get a lot deeper into the how in the feature description and requirements when you expand into the drawer or details view. And then if you have any custom fields set up to reflect the unique way your team works, you can go ahead and add those in here too. And then as a final little add, Showing this card image here is a nice way to make your feature cards pop. If you use a lot of attachments and mockups, this will pull in the first one listed on the record. So let's save this and see how our freshly customized cards look. Now we can scan this board and quickly understand the essentials about each feature. You can also toggle to this collapse card view, which can be nice if your features board is super packed. And you can do this same customization exercise we just went through for Epics cards if you use the Epics board view. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and craft the perfect card layout. So give it a try in AHA Roadmaps today and just let us know if you run into any questions. Our team is here for you. You can email us at support at aha.io and we'll respond to you super fast.